Let it not be that outward adorning of plating of the hair and of wearing of gold or of putting on of apparel, right? Let it not be a fashion magazine. You hear that? Look, he's talking about outward adorning, what you put on, what you're wearing, the putting on of apparel, the world, the, the daughters of the devil of this world, they want to look like a fashion magazine. And have you ever noticed in the stores, these, they don't even bother smiling anymore. These people look miserable. They're anorexic. They have purple under their eyes and they're, uh, they're all constrained. It's like, and you want to be like that? Why would you follow what the world is showing you? Why would you want to look like a child of the devil? Don't you want to be like God? And what does that look like? Look what he says here, verse 4. But let it be the hidden man of the heart in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit which is in the sight of God of great price. Amen. So the hidden woman of the heart, right? The hidden woman of the heart. Ladies, you want to be a real lady? Be a lady inside. Be a lady in here. And it will show out here. So what is, what is the opposite of a meek and quiet spirit? You're in, in Proverbs chapter 7. Look at verse number 10. And behold, there met him a woman with an attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. She wears the attire of an harlot. She's loud. She's stubborn. She doesn't stay at home. Now, turn to Proverbs chapter 5. So, what's this attire of an harlot? Look at verse 20. It says, And why wilt thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman and embrace the bosom of a stranger? Now listen, man, don't give your attention to the bosom of another. You understand what this is saying here? There is an attire of an harlot. There are women that are trying to get you ravished, get your attention off your wife, and that's wicked as hell. Yeah, God hates it. And, and as ladies, if, you, if Jesus was standing here now, are you dressed in a manner where you'd have to now all of a sudden go like this and try to cover yourself up? Mm. Or if you have to pick something up, have you considered your own modesty? Or are you just, well, I, mean, you know, I like getting attention. That's how I was raised. It's always been okay. It's okay today. No, the Bible says otherwise. Amen. It doesn't belong to anybody else. Look at verse 18. It says, Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Let her be as the loving hind and a pleasant roe. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times and be thou ravished always with her love. Now look, being ravished with your own wife, being in love with your own wife, that's different than what the attire of the harlot yeah, right? Of that meek and quiet spirit. This is the exact opposite. This is just an outward appearance of what's going on in the heart. But you're going to hear it coming out of the mouth also. When a lady has a problem with showing things off that, don't, that belong to you, man, to other people, you've got a problem with rebellion. It needs to be dealt with. Look what it says in verse 17 in this chapter. Let them be thine own and not strangers with thee. Men, your wife's body belongs to you. If she's dressing in a way that she's sharing it with everybody else, she has the attire of a harlot. Turn to 1 Peter chapter 3. Go back. So men, be a man and make your wife cover up her nakedness. That's right. Don't share it with strangers. It's just for you. And that's why we don't have open breastfeeding in our church. The extreme that people want to take it to, which is rebellion and pride and nakedness. And we won't have it here. That's right. Women, be a lady. Keep it classy. Keep it covered. Be meek. Don't be stubborn. It's your choice. You know when you're being indecent. You know when you're not being modest. You know when people look at you.